While Abraham's nephew Lot still lived in the city of Sodom, it was besieged by foreign kings who carried away its citizens and all its wealth. To save Lot, Abraham and a coalition of his allies pursued and conquered the invading army. Abraham returned in triumph, treasure and former captives in tow. The first thing he did was to give a tithe, a tenth of the spoils, a recognition that he credited God with his victory. Then Abraham engaged in an interesting conversation with the king of Sodom. Genesis 14 tells the story, and at this time, Abraham's name was Abram. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourselves. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and have taken an oath that I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a thread or the thong of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abram rich. To the victor goes the spoil. It's an ancient code and one that seems to have been followed at the time. This is made obvious in the text by the fact that Abram says later that he will accept only the share that belongs to the men who went with him. But for his part, Abraham would accept nothing from Sodom's king. And notice that he made the decision beforehand, before the king made the offer. Abraham said, I have raised my hand. I have taken an oath. Past tense. Abraham would not have his reputation, or I think more importantly, God's reputation, mixed up with the wickedness of Sodom. Abraham put himself at great risk, affecting the rescue, and deserved a reward. But he would rather operate at a loss than make a deal with the devil. God had already prospered Abraham, and he promised to do more. So Abraham was jealous for God's glory and reputation. He would not do anything to sully it. This was integrity fueled by faith. Integrity based on faith in God will not necessarily make you popular. I know one Christian man who was repeatedly passed over for promotions because he refused his employer's promptings to lie to the clients. Abraham's refusal to do business as usual did not make him popular with the king of Sodom. The very next verses reveal that Abraham's stand left him feeling vulnerable. After this, God had to come to him and say, Abraham, do not be afraid. I am your shield, your very great reward. The integrity born of faith trusts that God can be relied upon both for protection and blessing. And it does not compromise. 